Let's draw the Lewis structure for dihydrogen monoxide. So it's helpful if we change this to a chemical formula. So di, that means two. This mono, that means one. So we have two hydrogen atoms, let's just write that like this, and one oxygen atom. And you might recognize this compound as H2O, water. So really, we're just drawing the Lewis structure for water here. Dihydrogen monoxide, this is a systematic name, but it's really not used very much. Most often in chemistry, water is what we use for H2O. But let's draw the Lewis structure. Find the total number of valence electrons here for dihydrogen monoxide. So hydrogen here in group one, like all of these elements, one valence electron, we'll multiply that by two. And oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A, that'll have six. So two plus six, that gives us eight total valence electrons for the dihydrogen monoxide Lewis structure. We put the least electronegative element in the center, but hydrogen, it always goes on the outside. So we'll put the oxygen in the center and then hydrogen atoms on either side. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms. That's gonna form the chemical bond. So far we've used two plus two, four. Remember, we have eight total valence electrons for the dihydrogen monoxide Lewis structure here. Next, we'll complete the octets on the outside, but hydrogen, it only needs two. So the hydrogen atoms, they're okay. So let's go back inside and complete the octet here on the oxygen atom. And now we've used two, four, six, eight valence electrons. That's all we have, but the oxygen has an octet. The hydrogens have octets. This is the Lewis structure for H2O, dihydrogen monoxide. If you need help with the molecular geometry for H2O here, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.